hostage crisis in Pakistan. Terrorists from the Tariq e Taliban Pakistan have taken counter terrorism officials hostage. Inside the counter terror department police station, they've killed at least two officials. Officials are saying that over 30 Pakistan Taliban terrorists are holding several officers hostage. The crisis is unfolding in the city of Banu, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, which borders Afghanistan. The terrorists were under interrogation when they reportedly overpowered the police. Police say that one of the terrorists snatched an AK-47 rifle from an interrogator and opened fire. Two counter-terror officials have been killed, many are injured. The terrorists are demanding a safe passage to Afghanistan. This attack came hours after another police station in the district of Lakimawa, not far from the city of Banu, was attacked by terrorists. Four policemen were killed in this attack. In the city of Lakimawa, um, also in the Khyber uh, Pakhtunwa province. Two police stations have been attacked in the province in the last 24 hours, killing a total of six police officers. In the first attack, four police officers were killed, and hours later in Banu City, the two counter-terror officials have been killed. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by a former Pakistani diplomat and senior analyst, Dr. Jamil Ahmed Khan from Karachi. And thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Khan. Does the thank TTP you. that's carrying out these latest attacks have the blessings of the Taliban government or are they acting independently? No, TTP, if you go into the history of it, Taliban, um, the Afghan Taliban and TTP, they were just one soul and same body. And they've been operating against uh, USSR for quite some time and afterward against the NATO forces. So um, they have their relations, they have their links, they have their ideology, and they have been jointly operating against the NATO forces. So obviously without um, uh, tacit or without indirect or direct support, of Taliban, although Taliban, they uh, do not agree with the entire world that they have um, any place, uh, they can give any place to the terrorist groups. But the fact of the matter is, all the terrorist groups are still there in Afghanistan. So it is basically uh, one liner answer to your question that yes, uh, all the factors are leading towards the assumption, towards the uh, presumption and towards the fact that uh, Taliban, Afghan Taliban, they have, um, uh, the, they, they are extending their uh, uh, indirect support to Taliban. And with that um, uh, inference, the other uh, terrorist groups also in Afghanistan. And it has a complete history about it. So if we just, um, if I just give some pointers about those history, that all these terrorist groups, they were once upon a time, the Mujahideen and from Mujahideen, they split over to various groups and then um, their, ideo uh, their ideology changed, and they started fighting against all the Allied forces in Afghanistan. And after once uh, the Allied forces, they left Afghanistan uh, to start with. And Hillary Clinton, um, while testifying in front of um, the Foreign Affairs, uh, Foreign Relations Committee of the Senate, had uh, mentioned it very candidly that uh, uh, the Allied forces, the uh, uh, the NATO forces, once they withdrew from Afghanistan, not this time, previously, once um, in 2002, and, uh, before that. So at that time, um, they had just left everything high and dry, and they did not give any uh, rehabilitation program of uh, uh, the groups which were operating. And as a result, they went on their own. And uh, there are uh, some um, international politics involved in it also. But uh, yes, the answer to your question is uh, that uh, Taliban, without the support of Afghan Taliban, they, they would be so weak that they cannot really operate. And to what degree do these attacks underscore disgruntlements of the Afghan people over the Pakistan-Afghan situation? Uh, right, uh, the Afghan people, Pakistan-Afghan situation, yes, uh, very lately there have been because of the uh, the demand of the uh, international community, Afghanistan, uh, Taliban, they are getting a little more frustrated. And uh, as a result, their uh, 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 troops and their supporters also are um, uh, directing some of those violence against the fence which Pakistan had laid. It's about... Uh, 2,000 kilometers uh, fence, and uh, as a result of which, there have been some skirmishes between the border forces of uh, two countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan. 
that has further added fuel to the fire. And um, the Tariq Taliban now, um, in my opinion, find that, um, uh, that they have uh, now the ground to uh, to break their ceasefire um, agreement, which they had uh, had it from their side and from Pakistani side. And now after that, they have started int intensifying these uh, terrorist attacks. And until uh, the Security Council resolution is implemented, which was done last year in August and then followed by September, um, the security demanding that the Taliban should not have any uh, footprints of the terrorist groups, uh, Jamit al-Ahrar and uh, Lashkar Taiba, al-Qaeda and um, um, all other groups. So unless they uh, give the uh, rights to the women, children and so on, the world community is not going to collaborate. Now, Afghan Taliban are getting desperate. desperate, and uh, They have started um, losing their control on uh, the other groups. What to talk of Tariq Taliban? Tariq Taliban, once 800 prisoners were released at the time once Taliban had taken over, even at that time, people like myself have been saying that um, uh, these uh, TTP um, uh, would again start their operations. Uh, they had kept quiet for some time, but then again, um, they found a fertile ground to start operating against um, uh, the security forces of Pakistan, which they had already announced. And um, the, the, but now they have again the uh, Pakistan security forces. Have again, they are showing resolve. Now, it is a different question whether at this point in time they have sufficient infrastructure to really take them on. My opinion is that, yes, they, they, they do have sufficient infrastructure or sufficient resources to take, the, take them on as they had done it last time, and they had controlled the entire terrorism from that entire territory. But this time, um, uh, since uh, uh, we are trying to have some kind of a, uh, diplomatic relations with, uh, with Afghan Taliban, and uh, uh, while taking action against Tariq Taliban, there are other collateral damages, and which obviously is not liked by uh, the Afghan Taliban. So, uh, the, the, yes, it's a complex situation. It's a complicated situation. And the government of Pakistan has to really um, draw the, the, the very comprehensive uh, yeah, strategy. You're asking me some question. Yeah, Dr. Jamil Ahmed Khan, many thanks for your insight there. Thank you.